but I think it's a fantastic way of explaining the Hizmet movement by actually seeing people in action and what people uh, who are part of the Hizmet movement have been doing around the world. It also, I think, explains very clearly how the movement has originated. And um, I, I identify it very much because the, uh, the director, the writer, Terry, um, went through the same sort of experiences that I did of going to Turkey, discovering the movement, and then she's gone that step further and explains it and also we see lots of examples of how the movement works in practice around the world so terribly interesting and i think i think western audiences will be interested in finding out more about this well i think i think for me the thing that uh, really uh, stood out was the way in which in some of the world's worst trouble spots um, Muslims are getting deeply involved in uh, medical care, in education, in really practical ways. And I think for those of us in the West who thought this was just the prerogative of the Christian church, that's a bit of an eye-opener. And I think it's good to see that um, it doesn't matter what religion you are, what your background is, but you can be involved in real practical service around the world. Well, yes, I mean, I think the uh, scope of it, I, the thing that I learned particularly was the scope of it, the width, you know, the, the, the way it has become a worldwide movement. Obviously, it still sticks with its uh, Sufi roots, its Turkish roots, and there is still very much that sort of background to it. But it really has uh, begun to make an impact, not just in Europe, but in America, in Africa and other parts of the world. I would love to see his met grow um, in this country. I mean, the reason I say that as a Christian is because we have a stereotypical view of uh, Islam, which uh, comes from a different tradition, a different background, the tradition of our neighbors, uh, many of our friends uh, who uh, come from Sunni or Shia backgrounds. And we don't really hear enough about the Sufi movement, about that, that, that part of Islam um, from which this originates. And I think that it would be good to break the stereotypes in this country. It would be good to see uh, more of this uh, in, in our understanding of Islam, and uh, particularly in the uh, way in which it is expressed through practical love and practical action.